going out tonight? No, Langston. I'm quitting comedy. What? Why? Your show couldn't have gone that bad last night. Why don't, why don't you think I'm pretty? I'm really pretty. You guys look young. You guys together? Uh-huh. Oh, good for you guys. It's so great. And is, uh, is he your son? No. I'm his wife. No way. Oh, oh, awkward. Yes. Well, um, stop looking so old, oh, right? Oh, guys, oh, she's oh, so oh, old oh, looking. Oh, oh. Guys, she looks old. Boom! Oh. Guys, no, this is, no, this is not me, this is her. She's just a new comedian. March, March, you fucking. Quit calling me, you bitch. That's not that bad. <sighs> come on, I, I need you to come out. You mm. know the deal, I'm, I'm not good at socializing, I'm not good with these people, mm. it's always awkward. I need you there, I need you to be like the buffer. That's your thing, you buffer. Fine. Fine, I'll come out. Yeah. <sighs> but you owe me. Don't go in. <laughs> Remember the memories. Welcome to the open mic, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause for coming out. Yeah. All right, thanks. How's everyone doing? Good. We got an amazing lineup. Got some ears. There you go. Russ. So, uh, so Mike, you're from you're from Cleveland, right? What's the uh, scene like down there? Well, uh, you know, it's good. Cool. I, I actually have an uncle that lives in Cleveland. I visit him sometimes. Cool. Uh, hey, I'm gonna go have a cigarette. It was nice talking to you. You guys, I swear to God, I thought that she was his mom. No, no, no. One time I asked the guy in the audience if his wife get good road head. Turns out that was his daughter. Oh. <laughs> so creepy. So when I was... No, well, I, I've walked a few people with crowd work, but it's like, you're in the front row, buddy. You know the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, what idiot goes to a comedy show just to enjoy the show? The best part is making people cry. What? I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey, Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom. Over here. Yo, buddy. Over here. Hi. Jesus. Look, Langston, that's the guy. What guy? The guy from the show. Who? That guy? Jesus. That's Tom O'Connor. He runs the best room in the Bronx. He runs the only room in the Bronx? I mean, who goes to a comedy show to sit with the audience? Maybe he just wanted to enjoy a nice evening with his wife. Langston, real comics don't enjoy anything. Ooh, Tom, what's up, dude? You're acting all strange and you look like shit. Oh, thank you. That makes me feel better much. I just had a rough night. I went to a show and a comedian calls Marge old. What? What a monster. I tried making her feel better, but she just tried to kill herself. Oh my god. She didn't do it, Carly. We're just gonna get a divorce instead. Oh my god. What's gonna happen to your bull mastiff Reginald? I don't know. Neither of us make enough money to support it on our own, so I'm gonna have to put it down. Oh my god! <laughs> what, what about your adopted child that you saved from war torn <gasps> Sudan? That's right. We're gonna have to put her down too. <laughs> what? What is the point of living? We need to go. We need to go right now. Jenny, I'm not leaving. Let's just go. Can we go, please? No, go. I haven't even gone on stage yet. We just so got here. I don't tell him you have so much to live for. <sighs> oh, yeah, man. Um, you run a really great show. You know, best show in the Bronx. The only show in the Bronx.
Bronx. This is really scary. Just apologize. No, I'm not gonna apologize. Everyone knows that when you go to a comedy show, you run the risk of being heckled. It's the unwritten rule. That's not, it's true, unwritten rule. I'm still trying my beer. Just can we go? No, just apologize. No. People could see her for what's on in the inside and not that exterior just bags of wrinkles dripping yeah. off her old that face and she's just riddled with gout. Jenny, apologize. Fine. You're drinking my beer too. Everybody's drinking my beer. Drinking your beer. I can't even touch your skin anymore. It's so rough. But if we... Um, hi, Tom. Um, I wanted to come here and I... Oh, okay. okay. Um, I just I wanted to say that um, sometimes hurt happens and um, it hurts when it does. And um, you're a comedian and I'm a comedian. Hmm. And I wanted to say that Tell you that um that I wanted I wanted to say that that um it whew, it's hot it is hot Are you guys hot Jesus it's hot oh uh, well what what I want to say is that I am so sorry that. You have an old wife. <laughs> Shit. Tonight, this first guy is one of my favorites. Please put your hands together for Langston Kerman. You know you run the best show in the Bronx, man. It's Yonkers. It's Yonkers. Yeah. Hey, everybody. All right. Oh shit. What the fuck is up with that fedora, dude? Not cool, man. I got rickets. Ooh. That still doesn't explain the fedora, man. That's it's actually a unrelated issue. Yeah, well, my marriage is strained because of it, so I wear this fedora. It makes me feel better. Jesus. I wish I would have known that about you before I made fun of you. You look like a fool! Ooh. A fool! The fedora. Man, you look like an asshole in a fedora. Nobody wears fedoras. Hey, why are you picking on me? I got Crohn's disease. <laughs> that is horrible. And also, that doesn't really explain the fedora. Got bloody stool and it. <laughs> you know, it's a hard life. Just try to perk it up with a funny hat. Sorry about the stool, man. That's horrible. <laughs>